Hello everyone, this is Dante Collector here with another action figure review. And here I have the Hasbro exclusives AIM Soldiers. I will be doing a um, troop build. Uh, I forgot what you call them, but army build, that's what you call them. Um, with them at some point, I only have one of them right now, but I don't have enough money to get a bunch of them right now. So I'm saving up money for the PS5 and a bunch of other stuff right now, but first i'm just grabbing one to do a review on i think these guys are pretty cool so yeah here's front for you with the aim figures or aim picture there and you get the marvel legends logo on the top there you get that aim there you get the side with another aim soldier with a marvel legends logo on the top too here's the back with the dcpi and same deal on the other side, and you get the Marvel Legend Marvel logo on the top, and not much on the bottom. So let's crack them open. And here's the AIM Soldier out of the packaging here. So he has two accessories. So first he has this like utility um satchel thing for going over his shoulder here. So yeah, there's that. You get some smoke grenades there, you get some more pockets, and then you get more grenades. Same deal on the other side. I'll show you how to put them on, this on here in a bit. And you have this blaster here, which I think we've seen before. I don't quite know, but you have two grips for him to hold. Uh, nothing real special about it besides it's all black. So yeah, there's that. Um, but besides that, that's all there is for accessories. Um, so here's the aim soldier up front here. So yeah, I like the head sculpt a lot here. Uh, it looks a lot like a hazmat helmet or mask so you get that black lining with that cylinder helmet there and you get that yellow line whoops there we go uh, and then that yellow line with another piece of a visor there um and what's cool about it is that it's a ball joint and a disc joint at the bottom so you get to go well i'll show you the articulation here in a bit but yeah you get this black collar here so that's cool I, we've seen this um shoulder pieces and the top torso here before from the ghost raider figure um spearman neuer figure and i believe that's it i'm not quite sure because i know that because that this line here and then buttons here and then they got the square shoulders so yeah and then so yeah we've gotten that i wish they had a little bit of detailing on like the paint apps here but yeah we got that same mold um then you got the black gloves here which i don't think we've seen yeah these are brand new i well at least to me i haven't seen them but yeah you get the buttons here for the side of the arm and then hands we've seen before uh so yeah there's that it's pretty cool i like the way i like the mold for the glove there uh, and then you get this like belt here that kind of look like goggles with it's kind of like soft plastic so i'm pretty sure these pants we've seen before no no we haven't i know that because of these this little these humps here so yeah um but this is i think is a separate piece if you want to you could take it up off if you want yeah it is because this part right here is one piece so if you want to you could take the the top torso off and just slide that off if you want but i'm not going to do that um but yeah uh these are different pants sculpt because the little square piece is here for some reason it was like something feels weird right here uh, yeah new sculpt uh, and then you get the boots here which look like hazmat suits boots too so you get that little buckle there for the boots um this sharp point corner here and then you get another buckle at the ankle you got the elf boots so yeah that's pretty cool i like this figure line i will get him i'll get more of them soon but yeah let's go over his articulation here so like i said he has a ball a ball at the top and then disc joint at the bottom so you get him to go look down that far the collar gets in the way and plus it's a big helmet so this guy pretty pretty hard to get him to look down up decent amount and if you do that it kind of looks like the this part is kind of bending back in to make it look like he's actually looking up so that's cool and then you can actually tell it's a 
disc and ball joint there. Uh, you get him to go le left and right. Uh, just a little head pivoting there. His shoulders can move up just that far. Uh, you get 360 rotation around there. You got bicep swivel. You got double jointed elbows there. His wrists can hinge down that far. Up that far, 360 rotation around there. Uh, he has an ab crunch, so you can go forward that far. Backwards that far. He has a waist swivel, so you get 360 rotation around there. His legs can kick out that far. Uh, that far forward, backwards, just a little. You got a thigh cut there. You got double jointed legs. Um, you got no boot cut, surprisingly. Um, his ankles can hinge down that far, up that far, and some ankle pivot there. Yeah, it's a little stiff, but some ankle pivot there. Utility belt thing. So you kind of want it to look like, let's see here. You probably want the grenades to be pointing upward kind of so you probably want to do this and so what i'm going to do you want to make sure this kind of like flat instead of being like wait, yeah instead of slanted this way kind of so yeah it's kind of hard to explain uh you'll figure it out i'm pretty sure though um let's see here so you just want to try to they usually have like these buttons for them to get off but maybe i can slide it between through the legs maybe Maybe. We'll see. I might be able to. So then just put it through the arm here. Yeah, you can do that. So yeah. I used to just pull it over the head. But yeah. Let's see if I can get over that shoulder piece here. Uh, this one's going to be a tough one. There we go. Did it. Um, but yeah. It looks pretty good. And there's the aim soldier for you. So like I've said, um, I will probably end up getting more of these guys. Um, I will probably get more of the hell storm uh, henchmen too. I haven't ordered one yet, so I probably will at some point. Um, but yeah, I will definitely get more of the aim figures at some point down the road. That's the first one that I'm going to do before the like Hydra one and the hell storm ones. So yeah. I will definitely get uh, one of each first, and I'll work on aim. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, I like to figure a lot. Uh, I just wish they had a little bit more paint apps for the buttons here, I think, to be honest. Maybe a black for this, that little line area, you know, for that mold that I was talking about earlier. Um, but besides that, I think they did a good job on them. Uh, I was kind of surprised there was no boot cut, but it's nothing too major that they're missing. So, I like the figure a lot. It and it's 15 bucks so i think it's a reasonable price for that and i like the packaging a lot it's really cool um but no not much complaints really i like them a lot so that's all i've got <laughs>